here. This is her art book. The problem was... <laughs> hey! hey, hey. <laughs> Long time! It's been a while. You surprise the people I know around the world. You just run into people after 10 years, right? And they remember you, you remember them. Why? Because you left an impression. You were what? Of service. Yeah. You have served me, I have served you, correct? Yeah. And right? friends of mine. Friends. Anyway, so I got my I got I was gonna go for a four-year degree, and after two years I said it was for me, I proved it. So now, as a as a having an AA, I consult PhDs from Harvard and other top five schools in the country. Why? Because I built my first company from scratch, and I've raised capital. I've dealt with investors. He's nodding. He knows. Mm. Hey there. I've been, I've, been asked, I've, been, I've been asked by law firms across the country to consult their clients. Ours of Elmick, I mean, Rears of Rowe, whatever. Why? Because I've done it. Again, not to impress you, but just to tell you, this was, my life has not been easy. You got it? And you're, 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 you're I don't know what your, your career path is going to be. But you know something? You're going to hit roadblocks. Don't give up. Yeah. Ask for help. Okay, so three. I said, ego outside the door, I don't know, I don't you don't know. Number four, ask for help. What you don't know, number three, ask. It doesn't, it's, it's not a weakness. You got it? Now, everything I'm telling you, I've told from stage for like an hour and a half. It's okay to ask. But we have a tendency not to ask because we don't want to just be like, oh, I'm weak. I should know it all. Stop the. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you said that. <laughs> he said, it's the ego. If you don't take action right away, it's okay. You got it? Gimble. Don't beat yourself up. How many are you say? Never forget where you came from. Mm, I like that. <clears throat> That's number six. That's the final one. But these things that you've gone through, don't forget them. Use them. Use them to, to build character, to help other human beings. So those are the six principles of success that I created many years ago. And everything that you guys shared about what you feel is success is true. I just came up with six different things that seem to have changed a lot of lives that I'm sharing with you. So to me, happiness is that. My girlfriend cannot make me happy. She can bring happiness. More joy, right? Nobody can make you happy. So I started my first company two years and several months ago now, digital marketing agency here in San Diego. Fancy Jane with a Y, J-A-Y-N-E, and she painted all these paintings. When there's a book about her, this is your book. Yes, that's her book. My goodness. And that one's paradise up there. And that one has a painting within a painting. Most she my me when I was a little girl. I see something and then I paint. It's from my imagination. I don't copy. Nature makes, I see, look at nature, and I, then I go back and I don't see it, but I kind of get the feeling of it. I want to project love and, and happiness and joy. And when I was little, she sold like a thousand paintings as we were growing up. And my sister, Susan St. John, she's also an author. She's written a really fascinating book of her sale on and I get out, is that I help companies and entrepreneurs Let's see. Identify, create, and express the message that moves people and sells their product. Okay, so that's 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 what I do. What I'm all about. My what, what my mission and purpose is is really all about authentic self-expression for myself, but also for other people. And even you know, no matter how big your business is, that you're still talking to a person at the other end. There's still one person making that decision to buy. Um, you know, I have an Ivy League degree. I graduated college when I was 20. I you know I worked at some of the biggest agencies in the world. People have heard what I've, I've been on, have my stuff on TV and all this stuff. No matter what. And when I go home and visit my mother. 
she makes me she still makes me feel this big. Uh, so I get it, you know, that, that uh, it's not about what you do and what, what you've accomplished, it's about how you feel on the inside and what value you can bring to other people. So I've been an RN since 1991 and uh, my specialty has been in um, cardiac nursing and open heart surgery. And um, as people will, after many years doing that in a high stress environment, they tend to burn out a little bit. I still wanted to give. I had a, a very giving nature as a young child. I really wanted to be a nurse, but after so many years of that and really doing everything there was in nursing, trauma, burns, open heart surgery, all of that, um, I wanted to still give to patients, but I couldn't do the bedside nursing anymore. Something hit a wall, just couldn't do it anymore. So I discovered that I was really good at teaching uh, nurses. So and, um, I did start a record label and publishing company two years ago, but it, um, as soon as I started the company, I had to kind of stop because of personal things that were going on. Um, I do write songs. I did release a record, a six-song EP in 2014 that I'm um, proud of as a novice songwriter. And um, I am just proud that I branched out and did something a little different with my life. So, and um, I connect them to the five people that they need to help grow themselves in their business. And it's a lot of fun. And I also have a VIP platinum package where they, um, where I introduce them to our, my Rolodex. And that's also super fun. And so um, the biggest question that I've asked my entire life is, where are the leaders? I've always wanted to be surrounded by lady leaders. And who are the leaders? What are they doing? And what I found is that the best leaders are the most compassionate, loving, generous, flexible, adaptable, and they're making an impact now. And that was the entrepreneur. So I worked a full-time job. I was building an agency in the evening. I was driving from Ranch Bernardo to Levin Grove every day, super tired. The kids and I are falling asleep um, in the back of my car on, along Mira Mesa at the park and ride because I was just too tired to drive home. And um, finally, somebody just gave me a book. And the book was Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Har Becker. Went to my first, Pe first Peaks event in September of 2014, um, where I won a course, Mission to Millions, Life Directions. And two weeks later, went to train the trainer. A week later, was introduced to CEO space. And so my biggest win has been being recognized as being one of the youngest and most influential people in a room when I go into a networking event, and that's really humbling. Um, also, Jeff Hoffman is my new best friend, so Jeff Hoffman of Priceline, and I told him my big dream and what he said about being shaking the hands of the president. So he's going to take me to the White House, we're going to go to UN, he's going to let me drive his Ferrari, and I'm just super... <laughs> I'm rubbing so, shoulders with you. Yeah, and, I, and I don't say this to impress you, it's just been kind of a dream come true. i am um, been asked to speak on stages, which is a huge deal. I'm connected with a lot of women's networks. I'm all about uplifting and empowering women. Um, of all ages. And yes, I, I break into houses. I break into businesses. I break into safes. Uh, typically, I don't cause damage when I do it. I'm also paid very well when I do it, so I'm not doing it illegally. So I've been doing it for over 30 years. In fact, this month, uh, it's been 30 years since I opened my first safe. So a piece of paper called a restraining order isn't enough to keep an angry person out. So I've come up with a multiple set of ways to physically increase the physical security of your home. I don't want somebody getting in. I don't want the alarm going off. I want them to get discouraged and go away. So that's what I've developed a speaking platform about. No, I'll be um, emailing you or uh, texting you so we can connect. Are you going to talk to me? Yeah, I'm going to talk to you. 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 Ye